Well, I joined the Miners Federation when I was 19 years old. I worked at Wallerawang Colliery in the Western District and I did so because I was studying coal mining and went out there to you know, work and get experience in underground mining and you know, it was a fantastic experience. I worked underground in quite a difficult pit, Wallerawang number two, and became embroiled in the industrial and political activism of the, of the lodge and it, was a, you know, it set me on the path um, that I travelled all the way to the leadership of the trade union movement. We had a couple of stoppages uh, when I was there and there's a legendary union figure named Jack Savage uh, worked at the pit and he was just an incredible orator. I'd never seen anything like it, you know, a firebrand. And uh, so I learned a lot about industrial activism, but also, you know, there were members who were active, activists in the Communist Party, the Labor Party, the left, the right, socialist groups, all committed to the union, and it was just a fantastic industrial and political education for me. The coal industry has been critical to Australia's economic development, and um, the union is a large part of that. You know, and they've looked after workers in oftentimes dreadful and appalling conditions over many years. Going back before the Federation was created as a national organisation in 1915, and going back decades before that, like thousands of people have unfortunately lost their lives mining. Many other thousands have lost their lives due to pneumoconiosis or other injuries sustained at work. I and mean, the union has been critical in mining communities. It's, they're like untold stories of Australia's development, the work that unions do, and the Miners' Federation's been one of the key unions. I've had a long association with the miners. They're wonderful people. Um, they're always wonderful to work with. They're tough, you know, militant, they're activists, they're campaigners, but they're mature in their judgment and they're pragmatic. And they act in the best interests of members. So when you get to tough policy issues, like the future of the industry, greenhouse gas emissions and climate change, who's at the forefront of thinking in the labour movement about that? The leadership of the union. And when I was the Minister for Climate Change, I worked closely with Tony Ma, closely with Andrew Vickers and the other officials, and you know, found they gave me their support. And that support was based on the democratic decisions of the membership of the union, and that was a critical thing. You know, there's not many unions like that. I just think there's a perennial thing uh, for working people, and that is, you know, their safety is important at work. Uh, their rights at work, more generally, are extremely important. They want to improve their living standards. That's why there's a great future for the trade union movement in Australia for the next hundred years too. Standing up for the values, fairness, justice, equality of opportunity, safety at work, rights at work. When unions are doing that, they can't lose and there'll be a bright future.